huge for Wolves. Hello and welcome back to another video on the old Gold and Black YouTube channel. I'm Tom Raz and thank you for joining me for today's Wolves update. There have been a number of rumours, the players are all back in training now, not just in our club but across the country. So there's starting to be some rumours and things swirling around. Lots more information to give you today than over the last few weeks. So to start off with, Wolves are planning to hijack Celtic's bid for a left back from Turkey. Scottish defender Barry Douglas. Now apparently he's going to cost us three quarters of a million pounds and Celtic have been looking at him for a long time. He's playing for Konya Spor at the moment. Wolves have been in the looking for a left back for the last couple of weeks apparently so perhaps this could be a deal that could go through and we can progress then with a fully brand new back four and I imagine that a goalkeeper is going to follow as well and I'll tell you why because the FL92 Twitter account has just tweeted today that Portsmouth reportedly are close to completing a move. It says for out of favour, but I'm not sure why he's out of favour, goalkeeper Carl Akimi. Now Carl has been our goalkeeper for the last few years since we got relegated to League One and Wayne Hennessy left. He's likely to the odd mistake once or twice a season, but every goalkeeper is. If you in that position and you make a mistake it often leads to a goal and you're under fire but I think nine times out of ten nine games out of ten he has a good game looks as if he's going out though with the rumours yesterday of Wolves bringing in the Werder Bremen goalkeeper but of course other teams are involved there as well Leeds being one of them I think that Wolves are likely to have a new goalkeeper and this is Nuno now putting his stamp on the team he's really gone out there and looked and is starting to get rid of players. There's no sentimental feelings there for him. There's no cosy club, if you like, either of um, coaches saying that how how good Carl Akimi is. It's a cutthroat business, unfortunately. Football and Wolves have been left a little bit behind in the past in that respect, and we're slowly catching up now. Contrary to the comments that Jeff Shee made yesterday about Halder Costa saying that he is not going anywhere. There's been a story today to suggest that Tottenham Hotspur are interested in signing Costa because they've been after Bayern Munich winger Douglas Costa, uh, but that seems to be failing. They don't seem to be able to get that deal through, so they've turned their attention to Helder Costa, and their their aim is to sign Costa but give us their young player Josh Anoma in replacement for him on loan. Not a deal that I would accept and if I was Jeff Shee and if Jeff Shee sticks to the, what he said yesterday I can't see that deal going through either. Another interesting piece of transfer news coming in is that Wolves are interested in signing the Aberdeen youngster Terry Taylor. Derek McInnes was talking today, it was on their Twitter page as well, Aberdeen, that Terry Taylor wants to come to Wolves. He's a young lad He's shown great potential. He was playing for Aberdeen under-20s when he was 14 years old. He's played for Scotland under-20s and he's captained Wales under-15. So he's obviously got mixed parentage somewhere. And that deal would only cost Wolves £100,000 through compensation. So that would be an interesting deal. And one that I think Kevin Thelwell has probably had quite a hand in. And possibly even Paul Lambert as well with the Scottish connection there as well. Um, I'm quite pleased that we're looking at players like this as well as, of course, the superstars that we want to bring in. We need to carry on building for the future and trying to build a squad for two or three years down the line as well with Conor Ronan and Morgan Gibbs-White and Bright and Bakari all being part of that and Terry Taylor could be an amazing addition to that. Now, Silvio left the club yesterday on uh, due to the end of his contract. And he took to Instagram today to say that he was not discharged by Nuno Espirito Santo. There was, for one reason or another, he said that the the contract on both sides, it didn't sort of materialise. I'm quite sad to see the loss of Silvio. I think he never really got to show his real potential. And one player who has left the club today on loan is John Flatt, the young goalkeeper, who I think... In terms of the young goalkeepers that we've got, I think it's probably falling down the pecking order a little bit. I mean, I don't know, but Harry Burgoyne, of course, was selected over him during the periods last season and did very well. So that puts John Flatt in a difficult position. And 
he's glad to be going back to Cheltenham. He tweeted that he was happy to be going back there. And hopefully he can do well and possibly get himself in a position where he can challenge for a first team spot when he comes back. And one final bit of news, Wolves have released their under-23s pre-season schedule today. They're starting with a game against AFC Wolfroonians on the 8th of July, which is a 7.45 kickoff. They're then playing Ballard Town on Wednesday, the 12th of July at 7.45. AFC Telford then at Saturday, the 15th of July, 3 o'clock kickoff. Birmingham City then on the 1st of August, an 11 o'clock kickoff, and that's away from home. And then the only home game is Barnsley on the 8th of August, and that's a 1 o'clock kickoff. Thank you very much for watching this Wolves update. Thank you for all the support recently. I've had some lovely messages. Keep watching the channel, keep subscribing, keep liking these videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.